and I remember calling um, our friends who have been working with us at the time, they were at a wedding and I couldn't get the words out. So she calls me back. It's like, what's, what's, what's happening? And I'm like, I just give the phone to Alvin. I was like, no, it's okay. Um, we can talk after the wedding. Yeah. I don't want to stress you guys. And this. So she walks away where it's yeah. more quiet. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's happening? We lost the baby. Yeah. Amanda is gone. So, yeah. And then we had to do our payments and move on. So in the car, I just remember calling my mom mm -hmm. and wailing yeah. and asking her what's wrong with me. Everybody, welcome to Being Kambua. It's so wonderful to connect with you yet again. I'm so grateful for all the love that you have continued to show me and my journey and just the people that I get the honor and the privilege of interacting with. As you know, on this podcast, we have conversations that are necessary, that are authentic, that are uncomfortable, painful, but overall help us become better people, make better decisions, be more sensitive towards one another. Those are the conversations that we have here. I've had the privilege of just interacting with such phenomenal women um, and men at some point who will definitely bring the men on board just to get a different perspective on some of these conversations. I also want to just mention that I am fully aware that the conversations we have here can be highly triggering for some people. And I'm deeply sorry if this conversation triggers you in one way or another. Um, but I pray that more than the trigger, you will find a, a, a ray of hope somewhere in there. If you're somewhere smack in the middle of your pain and you're sitting in it, you will still find a reason to listen in and know that it's not all doom and gloom. There is hope even on this journey that is sometimes so, 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 so challenging. Today, I have the honor of hosting this beautiful young lady. She is stunning. When I met her for the first time, I was like, oh my goodness, you're much taller than I thought. She is tall. She's gorgeous. Um, but she's also such a strong woman. And I'll tell you that when I first interacted uh, or paid attention to Nessie, Lee, she had put out a post. It was Mother's Day and she put a post and I remember resonating so much with the post that she had put because she was touching on areas of loss that she has experienced in her life. And I thought to myself, hmm, I'd love to one day just sit down and have a heart to heart with her. So we get to do this on camera. Hey, Nessie. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Um, I mean, I want to give you the honor of actually introducing yourself properly to our people. Who is Nessie Lee? So, Nessie Lee is um, a fashion designer, mm -hmm. stylist, style forever. You can see that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I am a wife. Yes. And a two-time angel mom, mm -hmm. which is a whole other story. Yes. And yeah, I'm just so, I'm starstruck to be honest. There's, there's that fun galling in me that I'm going to tame. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But oh. yeah, I'm honored to be sitting here with you and like just talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have to say, and I always say this to people who agree to sit down and talk to me, thank you for saying yes to me because I know it's not an easy conversation to have. And we've been having, um, we, we, I, I do a deep dive here on this podcast where we go right into the heart of the matter. So we've been having conversations surrounding loss miscarriages mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. and this is how our paths crossed yeah. is through loss and that's why I see as though um, even though there's nothing to celebrate about loss it does bring about things that we can celebrate the connections mm -hmm. that we have yeah. um, so I'm really glad that we our paths crossed <laughs> So let's go right into it let's. Nessie yes. uh, when did you get married who I got married so many times, y'all, to the same person. Okay, tell yeah. me about that. Unpack <laughs> so, that a little bit. <laughs> I got married um, in October. No, I got engaged in October. Got married in December yes. 2018. Yes. And then got married. That was the traditional one. Mm -hmm. And then we did the signing thingy mm -hmm. in January. Yes. 
and then we did the wedding, the mm-hmm. white wedding for the people who couldn't come to Shags. Yes. In December 2019. Uh-huh. So we have quite a number of anniversaries. Wow. Yeah. You, like <laughs> sherehe, sherehe, sherehe. <laughs> it wasn't planned, but yeah. I, if but it were up to me to just be one time, but yeah. like everyone was feeling left out. So we're yeah. like, let's be nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, tell us, I want to get into your, where your journey into motherhood began where you decided okay we are ready were you guys like off the bat ready to Mm -mm. no okay in 2019 i was living la vida loca i was just like no a child for what because at that time i had just graduated from fashion school so yeah like i wanted to you know see what's happening so we knew we didn't want to have kids in the next in the first two years also we hadn't dated that long we had dated for like a year and a half Mm -hmm. so we wanted to, you know, ease into it. You yes. know, I was still young. I think I was like 24. You are still, you <laughs> are still young. <laughs> yeah, so mm-hmm. we, we, we wanted to chill a bit. Yeah. And the, at that time, the thought of a pregnancy was like, hell no. Yes. Like, what? Mm-hmm. I ha- I'm always on set. I am, I'm busy. Yes. I'm busy. Yes. I don't want no babies, you right. know. So that was then. Mm-hmm. So we got to wanting a baby after Corona. Okay. Because I felt like now we, okay, we've settled a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But um, I had a major pregnancy scare <laughs> during Corona. I was like, in the <laughs> pandemic? No. <laughs> I don't think no, so. No, sir. No. Yes. Because I like, like, personally, I like controlling things. I like it, it should be. In mm-hmm. fact, for the longest time, I was just like, I don't want a January baby. Yes. I don't want, like, there was always, it had I want to be, be on perfect. top of things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, Corona had a pregnancy scare. Thank God, mm-hmm. nothing happened. So mm-hmm. after that, 2021, um, now we were ready and we we're like, yay! It didn't take long to conceive us. Yeah. One, two, done. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, those so, people who usually say they just sneeze and get pregnant and they decide we're getting pregnant. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it now. <laughs> you were but yeah, at, that at the point, time, it was, it was easy. I think it was like two months and it was. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about that. Tell me about when you found out you were pregnant, how you found out you were pregnant. Were you feeling different? Um, was it just a routine check? What how was, was it? Um, this um, At that time, I, I think I was going through like a diet detox thingy. I was okay. just eating right, you know. Mm. And then I missed my period and I was like, hmm. I, I'm very regular. Like my, yes. it's like clockwork. Yes. So when that happened, I was like, ooh, I might be pregnant. And then talked to one of my friends at mm-hmm. the time. And she was like, yeah, that's giving pregnancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I did the test, found out, and was so excited. Yes. Yeah, I remember my husband cried. He was so happy. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yay. Mm-hmm. So this, this was, I think, week five by the yeah. time I'm finding out. Yeah. So week six week seven we went to the guy now of course you have to do the check yes um week six at that time there was no heartbeat yet but you could see i can, I can mm-hmm. be in somewhere mm-hmm. and then week seven i started spotting mm-hmm. i was told yeah that's normal implantation nee, nee, nee. yeah i was like implantation okay <laughs> so yeah. so mm-hmm. um went through that um but i kept spotting and i remember it was a friday we had a uh, gig i don't know if it was a gig or a birthday or something like that we were yeah. going for mm. it was in kitengela mm. we also wanted to check out houses ni, 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 ni. Yes. so we we're like yeah let's go for a drive mm-hmm. yeah, that wasn't a good idea because mm. yeah, there was a rough road leading yeah. to our friend's place mm-hmm. that because of the spotting i didn't understand that that's a sensitive time you're supposed to chill right. ni, ni, ni. the mm-hmm. guy said nothing about that yeah. um so we went on the rough road and funny enough, at the party, it was a party full of doctors. Mm-hmm. So we got one who was having a good time, yeah. as he should. Yeah. <laughs> and we pulled him to the side and he was like, okay, so this is a threatened miscarriage or a miscarriage happening? Wow. Because I remember- the spotting gotten heavier or why did you feel the like- The spotting was- got heavier and I went to the washroom and to her bedroom, the washroom, and I just knew. Like, okay. there was just a, <sighs> yes. and panic, instant mm. panic, because that was not sporting anymore. Yeah. And of course, I felt like I wasn't prepared. Mm. I should have had like 50 pads at the time, you know? Yeah. So um, panic, 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 but I have to put it together because yeah. we're at a party. Mm-hmm. I'm looking nice. Mm-hmm. So 
Uh, my husband just sees something in my face and I'm like, we have to go. Yeah. He's like, what's happening? Go to the side. And then we talk to that friend of ours and she says, oh, I have like two doctors here. Let me call for you one. So she, he came and he, we sat down and I explained what's happening. I've been sporting, yada, yada, yada. And he's like, so this is a miscarriage or a threatened miscarriage? Mm. It must be from the road when you're sporting, you should have stayed home and all oh. that stuff. And I was just like, yo. At that time, there was no pain yet. Mm -hmm. So we have to go to hospital, but to get to hospital, you have to go through that rough that road again. That same rough road. Yeah, so it's, by the time you're getting to us, it's definitely a miscarriage. And that's like, that's the point now, the pain, like, like physical pain mm -hmm. came and it was just, was it like like cramping? Yes, like yeah. major cramping, yeah. like never before. Yeah. Yeah, so did the thing. Of course, this whole time you're praying. Yeah. Like, God, I've never even asked you for anything serious. Mm -hmm. Like, just, just save the baby, yes. <laughs> you know? Yes. And I remember on the way there, uh, uh, my our friend was driving and my husband was on the front seat and I was just crying and excruciating pain. And mm -hmm. I was just like, Holy Spirit, you have to take the pain away yeah. right now. Like, I'm not joking. Yeah. And immediately I just felt a The peace. pain, oh wow. Like it was gone and I was just like, wow. I was just like, so the pain is gone. We, are, yes. we have dealt with that. Now yes. that I've found, I've gotten your attention. Yeah. Let's keep the baby alive. Mm. And if he, she, it, whatever is yes. not there, like give me the peace. Mm. So I sat there and I was just quiet. They are praying, Chantelle Bobo, I know yes. that. And I'm just like, Mm. Like th there was a numbness yeah. to it. Yeah. So we called um, my mom, uh, who of course went into tongues yeah. <laughs> directly. Yeah. And they met us at Karen Hospital, and mm -hmm. yeah, it was just it just happened. Yeah. And I had a lot of support from my parents. Mm -hmm. They were very. It was at night because yeah. at this time this is like ten in the mm -hmm. night. Mm -hmm. So they were just there. Yeah. Had to go through the whole. Was it a? Was it a? Um, did you do a DNC? Did they give you medication? They gave me the meds. Okay. I, I think I was too terrified <laughs> to okay. go through anything else. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I just took the meds and mm -hmm. I was discharged. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is your first pregnancy. And Nessie is a planner. Everything goes according to, yeah. you know, what you've planned. You like yeah. to be in, in control of the narrative. Yes. But this has sort of thrown you off balance quite a bit. Yeah. Um, what was your, I don't know, where, what was your mental state like at that point? Or was it, did that shake you some? Or how did you deal with it? It did, but looking back, I feel like I hadn't, I hadn't enjoyed the pregnancy enough to have been affected as much. Uh-huh. Because it was early. It was early. It was like eight weeks, seven, yes. eight weeks. Mm -hmm. I hadn't had a heartbeat, so I felt like, okay, like, yeah. we'll be fine. Yes. And, and of course, the, um, my mom being there and telling, don't let the devil, mm -hmm. you'll still conceive, you're yes. still, you know, speaking life and all that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, yeah, we got this. Mm -hmm. that, that was just a bump. Yes. Let's do this. Yeah. yeah. So... The only thing is after that I got sick. Okay. Was admitted. So there was a lot going on. Yeah. I didn't get the like to uh sit in it and like cry mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. So you you're more focused on getting better, better recovering yeah. from all these other yes, things that yes, were yes, happening yes, yes. um in your body. Mm. Okay. So we, we get over this bump as, as you called it, yeah. you know. Um how did you get to a place of saying okay, let's that was a small huddle. Mm. Let's now try again. Was that immediate or did you take some time before you decided to act? So by the time that was happening, the mm. year was over. Yeah. That was yeah. 2020. Yes. So now this is 2021. Mm -hmm. We've started a new year. I feel like I'm getting the dates wrong. No, this is 2022. Okay. Actually. This is now last we, year. Yes. So, okay. 2022 last yes. year. Yes. So January's here. Happy mm -hmm. New Year. Yay. We're going to do this again. Yeah didn't take much like honestly I, I wasn't even trying if yeah. i'm being truly honest yeah. yeah we're just like if it happens it happens mm -hmm. and it did yeah. but this time it was different yeah. i didn't miss my period i had a weirdly light period mm -hmm. yeah so i was just like okay it can't just be over like that yeah yeah so i was just like let me just test to be mm -hmm. i was actually coming from an event mm -hmm. on that day and i was just like ah, let me um the chemist is here let me just test yeah 
I was so shocked. <laughs> like this one, I, the first one I had planned a whole reveal <laughs> to my husband. I'm like, oh yeah, it was cute. This one I was like, <gasps> in shock. Yeah, Two like what? staring at me. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and it was like before the, it reached the end, it was already two. Like it was so conk. And I was just like, I just had my period though. Like what's happening? Yeah. So it was, it was very weird. It was yeah. totally different. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't even have time to plan something cute. Okay. So I just told him, I'm like, yo, he's like, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> so this one was completely out of my control. Yes. Yeah, so we carried mm -hmm. the um, pregnancy. By the grace of God, I never have anything. Like, I don't puke, I don't, like, nice. I can be pregnant and you, no one It's like another day yeah. at the park. Yeah. Wow, no so, nausea, no, none of that. Zero. No fatigue, a little Ooh, bit. The fatigue. Sleep. Oh yeah, the okay. fatigue is yeah. insane. Yeah. Like I'll talk to you in blackout. And yeah. Come back out and like yeah, the same. <laughs> People yeah. need to talk about that pregnancy sleep. It's like, not it's, normal. Yeah, it's not normal, and it's so it's like so it's deep. like the best sleep. Yeah, ever. yeah. It's the it's the <laughs> deepest could... sleep you'll ever get. Yeah. <laughs> so you had the, you had the good stuff. You yeah, the good the stuff. Good stuff yeah. So um, so you get you've you've had uh you had an early miscarriage that first time. Yeah. Um, were you did you have any anxiety getting through that? Uh, you you lost the first pregnancy at about seven eight yeah. weeks. Was there any anxiety when you're crossing that? Oh yeah, the first point. ultrasound was just like, please let me get a heartbeat. Please let me get a heartbeat. Please like, heartbeat, heartbeat, heartbeat. Yes. And we did. Mm. And it was like strong and amazing. It was ah yeah. yeah. When we made it past ten weeks, I was yes. just like yeah, we're good. Home run, we're good. Yeah, yeah. I just have to make it through the first trimester, which is usually the miscarriage stage. Yes, and we'll be fine. Mm. So. We got through the danger zone. Yes. And we're on the second trimester, we could see, we could feel the kicks. We're like, wow, we are really pregnant. Yeah. Like it was yeah. it was an interesting mm -hmm. feeling. Yeah. 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 And you is it it's second trimester that we find out whether it's a boy or a girl. Yes. Did you did you guys find out or did we you did. What a surprise? Oh yeah. Me and my controlling self, you, I need to know. <laughs> I need, need to, to know. know. I need yeah. to know. If I could find out on day one with yeah. the first ultrasound, I would. <laughs> but um we did and mm -hmm. I we did a gender reveal on my birthday with okay. like a couple of our friends. Yes. So the cake was blueberry and we we're just like yeah, it was really It's a cute. boy. It's a boy. Uh -huh. Yeah, we had names already. Yes. <sighs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, got yeah. through. Did you get through the second trimester? Yes, I was at the end of my second trimester. This was just after. So, my birthday is June twenty second. This yeah. now we're getting into July. Yeah. Which means I am now exiting the second. Yes. I'm on seven months. Yes. Now. Yeah. So I'm, um, I'm definitely past the danger zone. Right. Cause like, what what could go wrong? Yeah. We are just waiting for the baby to gain weight. That's what the doctor said. Mm -hmm. And his kicks were strong. It was it was all good. Yeah. And then at some point, I realized the kicks are less. Mm. Cause it was like clockwork. You'd yeah. know, like in the evening, yeah. there has to be some activities. Mm -hmm. But this time, it was a bit slow. So I was like. Okay, maybe, maybe. I, I talked to my mom and my mo mother-in-law and I was like, is that normal? They're like, yeah, sometimes I get tired, it's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. yeah. But you can go to the gyna if mm -hmm. you don't feel anything. So mm -hmm. the next day, yeah. gyna called the gyna and she was like, okay, drink the cold water, dance a bit, try mm -hmm. walking, listen music. to music. Yeah, you know the drill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I did all those things. Yeah. I was blasting music in the house, mm -hmm. eating ice trying to walk, yeah. doing squats and all that. Yeah. Um, but the, that same day, there was a bit more activity, but mm. not as strong as it was before. Yeah. So I was like, okay, maybe now it's getting back. Mm -hmm. But the next day, mm. I was like, mm, it's not peaking the way I feel like it should. Yeah. So we just, I just said, let me just go mm -hmm. check what's happening. Mm. And to check, the baby was tired the nurse said um not nurse the sonographer yes. person yes said that um there's a loose cord around his neck but that's normal because mm -hmm. the space is tight yada, yada, yada. yeah and they'll give me the results because my gyna wasn't there she was in some surgery or something mm -hmm. so we were like okay fine when she comes she'll tell you what to do blah 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 i was like okay fine yeah the next day mm. 
nothing much she said okay loose code usually happens let's just give it a few more days then okay. we'll check again were you worried at this point were you of getting course. like a i was just like anxious or mm. Like, is there a way we can just untie it for him? Because yeah. <laughs> he's a baby. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, um, at that time, there was no... Like, she said, there's nothing we can do. Okay. He'll just have to play his way out of it. And yeah. I was like, okay, but he's tired. Okay, fine. Yeah. I was just like, let me just trust what these guys are saying. I think, like, two days after that, mm -hmm. she was like, okay, so I need you to go for a Doppler scan or oh, something yeah. like that. Doppler scan, yeah. 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 I was like, okay, what is that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, we go to that place and... Yeah. Um, I'm with my husband and uh, the guy does the microphone thingy yes. to hear the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. So he presses it and presses it immediately oh. again because my husband is answering me, I'm lying down. Yeah. And I just see his, yeah. his shoulders drop and he's like, so he pretends that he's still scanning something. Me, I'm hopeful, I'm like, where is the heartbeat? Yeah. Like, yeah. this is the part where I hear the chuk 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 chuk. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing. So he's like, um, so when did you go to the uh, sonographer last? I'm like, yeah, that was like five days ago. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he was okay. They said there's a loose code, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, because from what I'm seeing, it looks like he died five days ago. I'm not seeing any heartbeat. Like he's like he was so rude with it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Nancy. Yeah. So yeah. he's like, there's no heartbeat. Um, the there's um said uh spalding something like that mm -hmm. where uh the shape of the head is not as circular as it's supposed to be yeah. something like that yeah so he's showing us all these things and it's like honestly like in the movies and it goes yeah I, I, like he's talking yeah but i'm just like what is he saying and you can't hear him anymore. yeah what, what is he saying yeah and i just remember feeling it's like i'm being choked yeah like i feel like i'm being choked and i'm like sinking into a deep hole yeah so I'm leaving these guys here talking, yeah. like he's explaining to my husband, yeah, yeah, mm. you see that this, this, I'm like, I'm just, yeah, this can't be happening. Yeah. Like this, this is all, y'all are joking. Mm. So he tells me, okay, so you need to print the thing, like he's, he is moving on in this life. <laughs> like, it's a business was, as yeah. well, right? Like, yeah, this happens, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember getting out and that's when it hit me. Yeah. So I'm wailing and there's so many people around. I was just like, this is so embarrassing, but it's I can't, I can't yeah. control it. I can't help it. Yeah. And I remember calling our friends who have been working with us at the time. Mm. They were at a wedding mm. and I couldn't get the words out. So she calls me back. And she's like, what's, what's, what's happening? Mm. And I'm like, I just give the phone to Alvin. I was like, no, it's okay. Um, we can talk after the wedding. Yeah. I don't want to stress you guys. And this. So she walks away where it's yeah. more quiet. Mm -hmm. It's like, what's happening? We lost the baby. Yeah. Amanda is gone. So, yeah. yeah. And then we had to do our payments and move on. So in the car, I just remember calling my mom mm -hmm. and wailing yeah. and asking her what's wrong with me. Yeah. I'm sorry, Nessie. Yeah. Thank you. So, yeah, I would talk to my mom and I was just shouting. I was just shouting yeah. and of course my husband is also crying but mm. he's trying to be there. Mm. And I, like, she, she didn't understand, what do you mean, what's wrong with yeah. you? Mm -hmm. And I told her, Amanda is gone. And she's like, what do you mean, where are you? All these things. Mm -hmm. And I, I can't talk, so I give my, my husband. husband the phone. Mm -hmm. But I could hear her crying. Mm -hmm. And she hung up, because mm -hmm. I know she was trying to be strong or whatever. Mm -hmm. So she hung up and then called back mm -hmm. after gathering herself. Yeah. And um, at that time, she was in Kitale. Yeah. I think she was just doing like a retreat or something. Mm -hmm. And she's like, okay, so you need to call Mamlu, my mom-in-law and uh, fi uh, you guys get to this Hosi, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. At that time, like, I, like what are people saying? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. What's it's going on? out of body experience yeah. you're having. Yeah. yeah, like, you all are making noise. I need to. So Alvin is calling people. Trying to console me, calling people. Trying to console me, calling the guy now. 
Yeah. Um, we talked to the guy now, so we had to take the report to her. Yeah. And we saw her, and she, of course, she was sorry and all that, but mm. she was saying that we need to go get the surgery mm. to remove the baby. Yeah. And mm. uh, of course, at that time, honestly, I, I don't think I was even there. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. says you can go, think about it, mm -hmm. and then let me know where yeah. we are doing the surgery. Yeah. So we go home and talk to my mom-in-law. At that time, she was at a burial mm. than her. So mm. she got time to call back and she's like, what's happening? So I think that, I don't even think we told her what's happening, just yeah. the wailing. Yeah. And she figured and she's like, listen, I need to go to hospital. Mm. Um, they need to, uh, we need to uh, either surgery or give birth to the baby. Yeah. <clears throat> and all these things. This whole time, our friends are coming from the wedding. Mm. And we've told everyone. So I was just like, okay, yeah. this has happened. Yeah. Let's tell everyone who knew that yeah. there'll be no baby. Wow. Where, do you, where do you feel like it was, you guys were a bit on autopilot where you're like, oh, yeah, yeah. Because even the strength to call people and tell them this is, you know, yeah. Um, it seems so, uh, I can't even imagine in that moment feeling everything that you're feeling, but still having the strength to make those calls. Yeah. Yeah. I was just like, let's just strip the bandage. It's already happened. It's happened. So yeah. call everyone who needs to know. Tell them not to bother with the baby shower. Don't bother with this. Don't like yeah. told my friends. Oh, Amanda is dead. Oh, Amanda is dead. My dad. The baby's gone. The baby's gone. The baby's gone. The baby's gone. Yeah. You all can move on, okay? Yeah. Yeah. There was just that. Um, I don't want to see. Like when you're in so much pain, yeah. you don't care. You're so numb. Yeah, like yeah. you don't care. Like, yeah. Do with that information what you want. Yeah. yeah. And I just sat at home, mm -hmm. just staring into yeah. nothing. And I'm like, okay, so when are we removing this baby? How are we removing this baby? Mm -hmm. Are we going to pay for the surgery? Does yeah. insurance cover these things? Like, yeah. what's happening? <laughs> do you get to choose whether you uh, you have the CS or deliver the baby? Is that a choice that you make, or does the doctor determine? At the point, I didn't know. Okay. <laughs> I was just letting people yeah. say and do what they need to. Mm. So we get um, um, uh, Alvin's mom. Mm. My mom-in-law calls her friend who yeah. was in the country and yeah. has had a similar experience. Yeah. And she rushed to our house and she was like, mm. get up, we're going to hospital right now. Yeah. We're like, no, the doctor told us we can take like three days to think about it. She's like, no. Yeah. Because obviously at that point, yeah. the dead baby would start decaying and like ruin your uterus or whatever. So she's like, up, yeah. up, 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 now. Yeah. So even us, we're just like, okay, we're going. Yeah. <laughs> and our friends are here praying for uh, resurrection power. Like, yeah, yeah I was there. I, I prayed, it yeah. didn't happen. So y'all do you, but yeah. Yeah. And then we get to hospital. Mm. Um, of course, still on autopilot. Mm. Uh, we got, I got the most amazing midwife. Like to mm. this day, we talk and she's like my angel. Wow. She was just like, um, Nessie, I need you to listen. Mm -hmm. This is going to happen. Like she was so gentle. Yes. And she's like, I would suggest you just give birth normally because of this, this, this. Yes. And she was so, she was so nice. We we're like, mm. wanted to pay for the private room. She's like, I will give you a private section. Yes. No one goes there. Yeah. You don't have to spend money. I was uh -huh. just like, oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So. She really took care of us, yeah. uh, went through the whole birthing process, yeah. which was traumatic. So because uh, with, a, with a live baby, the, your body knows to contract naturally. Mm. So with a baby who's sleeping, do they have to, what do they, do they induce you? Is that what it is? Yes, do? but yeah. before that, I, yeah. I had been cramping from the moment we ah, did the Doppler, Doppler, Doppler scan. scan. Yeah. yeah. I had been having contractions, mm -hmm. so I didn't know there were contractions. There were cramps. Yeah. So went through uh, the contractions. By the time we we're getting to hospital, it was a couple of hours, mm -hmm. and I had already started dilating. Uh huh. And uh, that checking thing, I was just yeah. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> like it at all. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. um, they had to induce because yes. obviously I was not. Mm -hmm. um, dilating as fast as I should mm -hmm. and I think my mind blocked some of it mm -hmm. just for my own good mm -hmm. yeah it was just like yeah, yeah we're not gonna process that yeah yeah, yeah. so um, went through it I was going through labor of course walking and all these things they check yeah. after every hour which I hated yeah. 
and my mom was on her way from Kitale. She couldn't get flights. She yeah. couldn't get, mm -hmm. uh, she just had to get into the nearest shuttle. Wow. Mm -hmm. And to this day, I usually say her grandbaby was waiting for her because the minute she came in, yes, that's when now I started giving birth. Wow. Yeah. C can I, I'm, I'm just um, thinking about the moment where you, you are in hospital. Were you in the maternity? Yes. Can you talk to me a little bit about being in a maternity ward, um, possibly seeing other women who mm -hmm. are pregnant, knowing that you're, you're trying to give birth to a baby who's sleeping. Mm -hmm. What is that conflict like? What did it feel like for you in that moment? Or were you even able to process that? I don't think I would even you process it. You were not, yeah. yeah. But I know the other, um, actually I think the side we're on were for it was a different, it wasn't like maternity, like the people who are giving birth to alive babies. I don't know how to say it. Yeah. Um, this side was more of people who are pregnant and yeah. need like extra care uh -huh. kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but I was walking back and forth and I felt like I was making so much noise for them because mm. I was in so much pain. Yeah. yeah. And even during like birth, I, it was at night. Yeah. Like I gave birth at like 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. I was just like, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. We didn't sign up for this. Yeah. So I was more concerned for them than I was for myself. Yes. Yeah. But it was after is when I felt like, oh, it must be nice. Yeah. You're still pregnant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 There was that, I don't call it envy, but you feel some type of way. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, you actually see someone having mm. something that you so desired yeah. to have yourself. I was so ready for. Yeah. 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 And I remember that after giving birth, the emptiness, like there was an emptiness I couldn't explain. Because when I had the baby, I, I didn't want to see him. Because mm. I felt... I didn't want to see him at the time because yeah. I felt like it would ruin yeah. that first moment mm. with a baby for me. Mm. Um, but my mom having had gone through mm. the same thing, yeah. she was just like, you can take time mm. and then see him later. We'll yeah. just keep him somewhere. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, yeah. we'll see him yeah. and we'll have a burial for him. Yeah. Because he's still your baby. He's not yeah. just something you can throw away. Yeah. So, apparently you pay extra for that. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, you pay extra for what, sorry? To, to like, for have the baby, for you to dispose the baby yourself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And I didn't know that. Okay. Or is it the other way around? I'm so confused. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. I know there was an extra charge. Yeah. Cause we, I guess because we had to preserve him yes. a little bit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. By the time my mom was telling me that mm. as much as the uh, scanner was saying that was five days ago, he mm. didn't look like he had been dead even a day. Yeah. Because we're still very fresh and the, pink. In the you know. color, yeah. Yeah, he still mm. had his color on him. Yeah. So, um, but by the time I was seeing him, he had changed a little bit. Yes. So, um, my mom prepared me for that mm. and she said you have to have that closure yeah. it should be good for you to have that closure mm. at least see him yeah and lay him to rest and yeah. all that yeah and that was really hard yeah that was getting to the point where I am okay seeing him yeah. was really hard because mm. I thought that would that would ruin that oh here's your first baby who's alive moment yes but funny thing is it felt the same yeah. Even for my husband, mm -hmm. we, it felt like there was like a like two percent joy. <laughs> yeah. We're just like, yeah. oh, he's real. Like yeah. you get to see him, wow. you see who he looked like, wow. so, mm -hmm. who he looked like at the time, mm -hmm. and like he was such a tall guy. Yeah, <laughs> he was very well, tall. He had a tall mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and a tall dad. <laughs> we are all dad. giants. Yeah. So <laughs> really tall. He looked like me. It was just. And for the longest time, I would see, after seeing him now, yes. I would see myself and I'm like, oh my God, he had this part right here. Like yeah. it was, it was a weird joy. Yes. That was like enveloped with so much pain. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. That's no, it's I mean. amazing how you can be in the deepest, deepest pain and you're still finding that 2% yeah. is still something that, and I feel like it's that 2% or that 1% that, is a difference between completely losing it mm. and 
holding on yeah. and, and moving forward. And I, I feel like I don't know how to say it, but there has we all have to find that whatever it is, yeah. whether it's the memory, whether it's the oh my gosh, it looked like me, whatever it is that gives you that moment of joy yeah. in that pain. Yeah. Um, just as a reminder that it's not all hopeless yeah, you yeah, know you yeah. had a baby a boy <laughs> I <laughs> looked did. like you he yeah. was you know he was here yeah but I want to to now you know talk about um, so you laid him to rest mm -hmm. um, the days following that let's say the morning after tell me about that oh the ghetto no <laughs> <laughs> so the morning after um, I actually couldn't sleep because this yeah. was birth was like at one something yeah i couldn't sleep and this was before i had seen him so mm -hmm. i couldn't sleep every time i'd drift away yeah. i'd feel like i am dying a little mm. and of course i had my husband my mom my my favorite cousin mm -hmm. i had so much support yes this whole time our friends were there until the very end wow so i had so much support like yeah. the greatest community anyone could ask for mm -hmm. and when I tried to sleep, mm. I'd wake up. Like, they'd be like, yeah. always, like, getting shocked. Yes. At some point, I was like, is it because of the constant checking that, you know, mm. maybe triggered me? I don't know. Or is it that I am panicking that maybe I was just dreaming and yeah. now I'm, like, now I'm waking up for real. Mm. There was a weird, a weird 24 hours. <sighs> and at 5 a.m., <laughs> yeah. almost like clockwork, yeah. I'd be wailing. Yeah. I'd, I think that's when, like, it's still. Yeah. And you're left with your feelings mm -hmm. and your emotions the reality of and everything. the reality of it. Yeah. And I think that's, my mom was aware. So she would always be on standby. Yes. Even her, she didn't sleep. Because mm. she lost my sister in the same way. Mm. So she was, she was like, she knows the morning is mm. when the grief just, like, triples. Yeah. So she'd be on standby and yeah. I'd wake up and I'd be wailing. Yeah. And of course, all the negative things you can think of, mm -hmm. I thought of them. Yeah. Or your cast, or yeah. this is the second time. So there's definitely something wrong with you. Mm. Um, you didn't pray enough. Yeah. You didn't, like there was always this negative. So she had to counter that. She was yes. constantly praying. Mm. Again, I say my team was just unmatched. Yeah. yeah. So by the time I was getting discharged that next day, it was discharge to the gravesite yeah. direct. Yes. Yeah. So I had seen him. Mm -hmm. A part of me still wishes I had carried him. Okay. But I was still too scared. Yeah. I was like, I, I did touch him. Yes. But I didn't carry him. Yeah. I was too scared. Yeah. And I regret that a bit. Mm. But I'm like, it is well. Yeah. I, I laid him to rest. Yeah. You did the best you could in yeah, that moment. At that time. Right. Yeah. Um, I feel like I, I think about, because I, I've been a, a, an angel mom as well. Mm. I am an angel mom as well. Um, and I know that in times of loss, the mornings were the hardest for me. So I yeah. resonate with that. Yeah. And at the same time, the comfort I found, you know, when scripture says that um, his mercies are new every, every morning, morning. I feel like it was intentional for moments mm. like that, where I really needed new mercies yeah. every morning. Because yeah. you wake up and it's like a fresh reminder. Yeah. Oh my gosh, my world just fell apart. Yeah. Um, but then somehow God does pour his grace on yeah. you every new morning. Mm. Um, I want to take you back a little bit, Nessie, just because you and I had a, a bit of a chat and I feel like it's important to bring, to mm. highlight it on this conversation. Mm -hmm. There was a time, a moment before you actually found out that you had um, lost a baby. There was a time you were overcome by grief. This is something that you yes. shared. Can you tell us about that? So this was the morning before we went for the Doppler scanner. Yeah. And I remember waking up like wee hours of the morning, like three, four. Mm -hmm. And I would just, like, I just felt grief, like a zzz, like it just, like something just dragged me down mm -hmm. and I was so scared and I was crying and mm -hmm. I didn't understand why because yeah. we are in the safe zone. Like yeah. we've pitted the yeah. miscarriage place. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand why. And I remember praying and praying and praying and like nothing is changing about this situation. Yeah. I'm still feeling like, but I'm trying to be hopeful yeah. as we go for this scan, you mm -hmm. know, you're pleading the blood of Jesus, hallelujah. Yes, yes. And I'm like, 
why is that feeling still there? Mm. And even after, I think this is one of the things I really had to heal from mm. or still healing and like contend with is, excuse me, the prophecies, mm -hmm. the praying, yeah. all these things. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. what was I doing? <laughs> yeah. Like all this, it's not just me. Yes. There are other people who had never met, of course, who prophesied and yes. said this and that. Mm -hmm. I'm like, so were you guys lying? <laughs> or is it God who didn't come through? Some, yeah. Something Did I not is not making sense. Understand this? Yeah. Yeah. So that I had to really honestly I've still not figured it out. Yeah. And that's <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, was, I feel like that's okay. And you know why I keep going back and forth on certain yeah. parts is for um, you know, a woman who's going through it right mm. now to feel less alone mm. because I, I feel like loss comes with a lot of loneliness and just feeling very oh, yeah. isolated yes. and feeling like this is it's only me who's yeah. gone through this yeah. um but just hearing you say that hearing you say uh, i was I, I remember when you shared with me that i was overcome by grief i remember sharing um earlier on when i was giving my miscarriage story was that the morning the day that i found out i had had the loss mm. that morning i was overcome by grief yeah. in the shower I was taking a shower and I was just so overcome by grief and I couldn't understand what it Why? was yeah and um, in hindsight I believe that because we are spiritual beings my spirit already knew that mm. I had lost my child my mm. baby mm. Um, and then later on it was obviously confirmed and and I feel like it's what was happening with you at that time you're like yeah. I don't know why I don't know why I'm so overcome mm. your spirit already knew yeah. um, what you are about to con tend with yeah. up ahead that you didn't um, didn't know and it's not it doesn't happen to everybody but mm. it does happen I've heard um, different people say that it's happened yeah. to them so um, here we are Nessie baby has been laid to rest what does your new reality look like what is your what's your day to day are you like what are you doing every day are you back to work like what what are you doing I don't even remember honestly yeah. it was just this wave of grace just yeah. took me through it. Yeah. Like I tell people all the time, I have experienced mm -hmm. the mercy, the grace, and the love of God yeah. to a point where I can talk about it in my sleep. Wow. Because there's no way I yeah. would have made it through that. Mm. And I feel like having that community, yeah. I was so privileged to have such a community for, um, I don't say a week, yeah. I had both my moms around, my mom and my mom-in-law. Yes. So they were there, I didn't cook, I didn't, like, I was just allowed to be. Yeah. 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 And it was, it was so, like, I was so honored mm. to have that community. Guys were coming with food. Yeah. My friends come, they make their way to the kitchen, yeah. do the thing. Mm -hmm. Like, there was always, uh, I had, I think for the first time I experienced yeah. Yeah. what a loving community is. Mm. And I realized, wow, I actually have real, real friends. Yes. You know, yes. not just the ones for turning up and all that. Yeah. Right? So at the first week was easy, mm. but at some point they need to move on. They need to go back to work. They need yes. to live their lives. And now you're left with yourself, mm -hmm. you and your husband. Mm -hmm. And my husband still has to go to work yeah. and I'm still healing. Yeah. I'm still not allowed to lift heavy or all these yeah. things, you know, those rules. Mm -hmm. And it was the first time I was alone in the house. Mm -hmm. I, of course I cried. Yeah. But I remember having a one-on-one -on -one with the Holy Spirit mm. and telling him, this is what I need, this is what I need, this is what I need, this yeah. is what I need. Yeah. And he gave me a vision, mm. which is why it was so easy to say yes to you, asking me to do this. Mm -hmm. And I was, I've never even shared this with anyone. Yeah. <laughs> so I, in that vision, yeah. I, I was a woman who had come from war. Yeah. And I was bloody and dirty and muddy. Mm. And I was walking through uh an aisle yeah. and there were so many women around yeah and i was walking through an aisle and they were applauding me but they were crying and they're applauding and they're crying and i'm yeah. just like okay maybe yeah. they're just feeling my pain yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and i walked to the end of the aisle mm -hmm. and i sat somewhere next to father god yeah i didn't see his face but yeah. i know it's him mm -hmm. <laughs> sat there and i could feel holy spirit here yeah. and i could feel god here and i yeah. could feel jesus all around me and i was yes. like Okay. Yeah. So it's an assignment. Yes. That's what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> okay, fine. Yes. So we really had a deep conversation on what's happening. How, how am I getting through this? Yeah. And 
I, I remember throwing a tantrum a bit and I'm like, you'd have just told me the assignment mm -hmm. without having to take the <laughs> baby. To go through, yeah. Yeah. I didn't have to go through all that. Yeah. But um, I can't speak on something I've never gone through. Yeah. And I can't help you if I've never been there. Yeah. So I realized that um, go, I needed the grace and the strength to get through it. Because mm -hmm. the only way out was through. Yeah. And I, I remember asking God for just grace and strength. Grace yes. and strength. Yes. Grace and strength. Yeah. And what my mom said, we're going to take it one day at a time. Mm -hmm. We don't think about next week, next mm -hmm. month, today. Just are now. we okay? Yeah. We've made it. We're back in bed. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Next day. Yeah. Are we okay? Have we made it? Back yeah. in bed? Yes. That's exactly how we're going to wow. take it. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to think about, oh, the business needs this. Oh, yeah. That doesn't matter. Let's yeah. get back together mm -hmm. one day at a time, mm -hmm. one day at a time. And mm -hmm. I think that's what helped. Yeah. Just being given the permission, let me say, to yeah. take it one day at a time because yeah. I was already on, okay, mm -hmm. people are back to work, even men need to, you know, yeah. I need to get this thing done and that. Yes. And yes. I, I had to take it easy. Mm -hmm. So I had my sister-in-law, my cousins yeah. helping me with the business yeah. and all that just to allow me to be yeah yeah i feel like your um community is something that keeps coming up really strongly uh, with yeah. with your story with your journey um just the having the right support exactly because i think that is also something that um a lot of people struggle with the, is is the lack of yeah support um so what you know what i'm hearing you say because when it comes to loss um you know with with the earlier miscarriage and even with the later one we unfortunately are in a society of um, silence, a, a culture of silence, mm -hmm. and a culture of feeling like talking about loss and lost babies and sleeping babies, like it's a taboo. Mm. So it's always, don't talk too much about that. Don't dwell too, oh, but yeah. just try, you get another one, mm. you know? Um, and I'm, I'm sure people mean well, yeah. but they don't understand the magnitude of what you are having to go through. Exactly. And so your community acknowledging that this is mm. heavy mm. and we're gonna walk it with you, I think is so, so, so significant. Yeah, yeah? you saying, people would come in and they were cooking so you're not worrying about what am i cooking mm -hmm. what am i you know it, yeah. it, it just uh, eases the burden right yeah, and and po and maybe just um uh knowing that also at that point because you, you i've heard you say many times i didn't know what i want i didn't know i was just taking it a day at a time there's so many times when we're trying to offer support where we will we'll say things like let me know if you need anything <laughs> yeah. I don't know what yeah. I need. Exactly. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah. So I, I, I probably will not let you know, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, so just be there and mm. and do do. Actually, that's the thing. Yeah. That's that's what I kept telling when I was thanking them when yeah. I was back to my senses. Yeah. <laughs> I was thanking them and I was like, "Thank you for being there." Yeah. Like, even if I didn't need anything, mm -hmm. you being there. Yeah. I could see you, or I got a text from you, or you called yes. that was so big because the flip side was also true mm. there are a few people who mm. didn't like they didn't in my in my opinion it feels like they didn't care yeah but even them they didn't know how what to, to reach out or how to be there for you yeah and i usually give this example of one of my friends my closest friends he obviously didn't know how to communicate yes. his condolences or yes. he's there for me. Mm -hmm. He literally just sent a love heart emoji and yeah. it meant the world. Yeah, you understood as opposed it. To, yeah, as opposed to the people who I thought were close to me but yes. said absolutely nothing. Yeah. Like you you just moved on with your life. Yeah. <laughs> I was so bitter yeah. for the longest time and I had to like have a brief conversation with them and yes. you know, yes. later on. Yes. But at the time, as much as I had this amazing community, I was yeah. like, why isn't she called? Why, right. why is he just moving right. on? Yeah. And going out? Yes. How? How yes. can you move on? Yes. Like yes. I was getting so offended. <laughs> yeah. Something really yeah. tragic just happened to yeah. me. Yeah. You Your life should have stopped on. a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. And and you know, I think that's so important to say. I honestly, Nessie, I think you're just so brave, maybe even braver than me in some ways, because I know I'm still on a journey to yeah. um, <laughs> release some people because yeah. of j just that. Mm. My, the thing was, I wish you just said something. I wish you just. Something. Acknowledged. Yeah. 
um, the loss that I have yeah. experienced. And um, that's why this conversation is so important is for us to know because we think when I, if I keep quiet, you know, I don't know what she needs. So let me just wait till mm. she tell me. You don't realize how hurtful that that's silence. That's more hurtful than anything. I'd rather yeah. you come be quiet next to me. Yes. Come yeah. be quiet. I'd rather even, you know, there are people who would come into my space and I'd be like, this person is talking too much. Mm. You know? But, but yeah. when I think about it later, when I got to a better place, I'm like, this person took time off of their yeah. busy whatever yeah. and came there. Fine, they brought too many stories in my space, yeah. but they, they were, were there. there. Their yeah. presence was yeah. felt, right? You put out that post on Mother's Day, the one that got me like, mm. I was like, who's this beautiful woman? Um, how is Mother's Day for you? Does it, does it trigger you? Oh. So let's go back to the first, first, first miscarriage. Let's go. Um, I miscarried in May. Yes. So oh. May is when Mother's Day yes. usually is actually the week before Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. And everything was just against me. Mm. The fact that Mother's Day was coming, mm. the fact that I was still literally still bleeding. Yeah. The fact that um, I saw an ex posting their gender reveal and their party and all these things. And I'm just like, wow <laughs> yeah that doesn't feel nice yeah yeah so there was that trigger the first time mm -hmm. so the second time i was pregnant on mother's day yeah so i was just like yay yeah. <laughs> so restoration <beautiful>. yeah <laughs> yeah so i was very excited i'm like ah this is the first mother's day yeah. that i feel like i'm a mom mom for real yeah and I was pregnant yeah. and of course we celebrated it nicely. Mm -hmm. But now the next one after that, I was supposed to have a baby. Yeah. And it's still as quiet as can be. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, this time, it's the people who were pregnant with have had their kids, yeah. so you see them celebrating. Yeah. Um, people are announcing pregnancies mm -hmm. on that day. Mm -hmm. It was, it's a lot. Yeah. It's usually... Um, Okay, it's only one I've experienced, but that one mm. was the reason why I put out that video is because yeah. I felt like we need to be seen too. Yeah. And it's it's difficult. Yeah. But we'll be fine. Yeah. It's 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 weird. It's a weird space, but at least we are all here together. Yeah. We have each other in this weird yes, space. Yes, yes. And we can just have our weird mother's day. And that's okay. Where we get each other. <laughs> yeah, where we get each other, we cry a bit and we're like we order pizza and you're good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's a day. It will go yeah, and yeah. maybe the next one God will come through and we'll right. celebrate different. Yeah. But I, I was very keen on finding a different kind of okay. Yeah. Because I realized that with every loss, I mm. lost a bit of myself. Mm. You lose... It, I can't be the same bubbly <laughs> you knew when I've, I'd never been pregnant. Yes. Or the one after just a miscarriage. Yes. It's, there are such different versions yeah. of Nessie. Yeah. Like the Nessie who died with Armando. Mm. Like that, and she's gone. Like for yeah. real. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are some things I used to do then that I can't. Yeah. Even if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. And it's because I was experiencing a different kind of joy I was yeah. experiencing then. Yeah. And now I have to find another type. Yeah. yeah. And I, that was a very big revelation for me mm. that we just have to keep keep keeping on yeah yeah and, and accept that we're evolving based yes. on things that you know um, situations and things we have experienced yeah uh, we're growing um i believe this is a better version of nessie thank you yes <laughs> i hope so <laughs> yes yeah um are you you know you've experienced such heavy loss are you still hoping to try again are you what does <sighs> What is your desire? Of course, there's a desire for, especially for redemption. So I have this thing where I, I like to help God. <laughs> like I want him to be glorified. Yes, he, is. <laughs> and he is being glorified. Just, I know, but I'm like, so yes. since we've lost two, mm. it only makes sense yeah. that we should have twins. Right. So that like you're over glorified nicely, <laughs> you know. So I'm trying to like, I'm like, okay, so now we are praying for twins. Yes make it happen yes show these guys they're waiting to see <laughs> you know yeah. show them who's good <laughs> you know so um, there's that side of hope yeah that is obviously fueled with a little bit of hurt yeah um because i want like uh there's that desire yes for it to be like a boom twerf kind of 
you know yeah. no, i have seen no ear <laughs> yeah it has to be like wow yes. <laughs> yeah mind blow yeah blow their minds but you know yeah. it will blow our minds nessie and I I, so. in a way that god does in, yeah. in you know in his own yeah. wisdom yeah. um because i know that i know that feeling and so i i'm laughing because I understand it. Yeah. I understand what you're saying, and also because it's funny. Because I, I know I made such friends. Like God, just give me, give me double for my Triplets, trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and then people will send you like I had a dream. Yeah, you're gonna have twins because like, people carry that thing with you. Also, yeah. like God, give her double for her trouble. Yeah. And of course, God does as He does. Yeah. Right? And 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 um, I did not get a twins after that. I got a beautiful girl. <coughs> she, she and she's blown my mind. Right. And mm. um, so I know He's gonna blow your mind, and we'll be here for yeah. it. But also to say to re-emphasize that he is getting glorified through your life in a mm. big, big way. And I'll tell you why I feel like your story is so powerful, Nessie. Um, at the point where I that many years ago when I experienced that miscarriage, I remember going looking for um, conversations, anything, mm. material that I could read, yeah. testimonies of people who had experienced loss, and I couldn't find them. There was one I stumbled upon on uh, Facebook. I remember that one, but mm -hmm. there was one that stood out for me. It was a lady on Twitter. I think she's Scottish, mm -hmm. and she had given just a really um, detailed blow by blow of her miscarriage. And I was like, oh my goodness, I relate to this. But what I resonated the most with me was at that point when she was telling her story, she hadn't had another baby or she didn't have like what we call a success rainbow or a victory baby. or rainbow mm. or whatever she didn't she was just i am at the other end of this pain mm. and it was you know for whoever is reading this you can get through it and it yeah. it meant the world to me mm. and i feel like there's so much power in your story right now that mm. you're not speaking from a place of okay hey, hey guys i'm now on the other side of this mm. thing it's I'm still walking this journey and yeah. I'm still glorifying God with my life. That is so powerful. Um, and, and so I, I will give you an opportunity, Nessie, to just speak to, you know, a, a lady like you who's watching and just going through the trenches of yeah. grief, of loss uh, and speak life to them. But I also, I, you know, with your story as well, the fact that you've experienced a, a an early miscarriage and then later on in your pregnancy highlights the truth which is that even though many miscarriages most miscarriages happen early mm. it is possible for it to happen later on in your journey and um, you know I'd like for you to as you encourage the women to remind them that it's not something they did it's not mm. their fault. Is Nessie, that? it was not even your fault that you were on a rough road. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't. That's yeah. not on you. Yeah. But we, we take it. We take all those things. I did this. I shouldn't have drunk this. I shouldn't mm. have gone to the gym. We always want to find something as women to, to justify, you know, like, yeah. like to castigate ourselves. Mm. But it's not. Yeah. It's really not on you. Yeah. But anyway, Nessie, I want you to encourage a woman right now who's listening to you or a woman and a man could be a family yeah. um yeah okay so the first encouragement which you've already done is recognizing that it's not your fault there's it's god is the giver of life mm -hmm. and when it's gone we always want to find the solution what happened like was it medical was it this you know and you yeah. live and go spiritual mm -hmm. is it a generational curse yeah, yeah, yeah. right Mm. it's not going to bring the baby back. Right. So we need to heal. Yeah. And we need to grow. Mm -hmm. And we need to be hopeful. Yes. So I would say mm. um, in the journey of healing, you yeah. will have a lot of triggers. And I, I, I don't remember where I saw this, but someone said that the triggers are an opportunity to, for you to heal. Mm. It is triggering you because there's a point you've not healed. Right. So what I did... Mm -hmm which people may think that I'm so strong about, mm -hmm. is that I deliberately subjected myself to triggers. Okay. Yeah, okay. so I would be, I would go to Langata yes. uh, Cemetery and yes. be like, hmm, I want to feel hmm. this. Like, yeah. let me, I don't want to be going through Langata Road and yes. crying every time I'm or there. I don't want to, you. or avoiding and having to go around and yeah. all that. I was like, I'm not going to let the enemy have that. Yes. I'm not going to live in a <laughs> kind of state, you know? Mm -hmm. So I went to the grave. I went to the same hospital yeah. and I, I, I allowed myself 
to feel mm -hmm. and heal. Yeah. Feel and heal with wow. every step. Everything that I'm doing. If if um, the cravings I had were a trigger, yeah. I'd order that. Wow. Feel and heal. Yeah. Like just allow yourself to feel. Yeah. And start the healing. Yeah. So that I think that's that would be my biggest yes. takeaway because yes. I, I've met women who it's been years and years and years and it's still so fresh. Yeah. It will always be painful. I understand that. But yeah. it shouldn't be as painful mm -hmm. as it was the first time. Yeah. There needs to be some degree of healing. Yes. Yeah. God yes. God there'll be a scar, but God heals. He does. Yeah. So there you should be allowing him mm -hmm. to. So if you hide it under a rug somewhere, yeah. it will bust out one day when you're not ready. Yeah. And personally I didn't want that. So I was just like being the control freak that I am. <laughs> let me just control how we are going to cry. Yeah. Let's get there. Does this still trigger me? No. Okay. okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. When I talk to this person, am I still angry because they didn't yeah. send their condolences? Yes. No. No, I'm good. Okay. okay. So we get, with every trigger, yes. it's an op opportunity for you to yeah. just feel mm -hmm. and heal. Wow. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Feel and heal. Yeah. See, I told you, I think yeah. you're a lot stronger than I am, Nessie. <laughs> I still have so I'm, sometimes I feel like I'm still navigating a minefield, you know? Yeah, you're no. like, I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to deal with that. Bit. <laughs> I'm not ready to see this person. I'm not ready I to know. go here, you know. I know, and that's also okay. <laughs> For you <laughs> to think. subject yourself to triggering, it has to be, I am ready. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it's it's kidogo war. So you'll yeah. you'll feel some type of way. But yeah. I know God's grace is sufficient absolutely will definitely carry it through absolutely yeah and community and community yes yes <laughs> i feel like that's that's been yeah. a big one on this conversation which is so important um nessie you're so beautiful you're so strong you. you're so amazing and i know that you know even that thing of people telling you you're so strong like no don't tell me i'm strong <laughs> i didn't ask for no things. from you it's, it means something I, you, because you've you. been thank there you. Yeah. Yes, you really are so strong and you yeah. carry yourself with so much grace thank you and um i really do look forward to seeing what the journey ahead looks for you and what god does with your story here write such beautiful stories you know yeah. we might not like the detours that he takes us through like yeah. you were saying i wish god you just took me right there if you wanted yeah. me to do this you know just, just told me <laughs> but that now you you know you've walked that path you yeah. felt the thorns and the nails you're able to um to speak life to somebody else yeah. so thank you so much thank you for saying thank yes thank you of course <laughs> thank you for having me i'll call you amazing. again oh yes yes the answer is already yes thank you <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes you had yeah. So um, that's Nessie. Follow her. I'll put her handles over there on social media if you want to, inter to interact with her. But as always, I would love to hear from you what your story is, what your journey has been like, what kind of support you have received, what has resonated with you as we've talked to Nessie. You feel this one, this one was mine. Um, what that thing is, I'd love to hear. Um, but as always, let's continue building a community to just hold each other and hold each other accountable as well as we move on this journey called life. This is Being Kambua. We'll continue to have these conversations. Continue to follow, share, subscribe, like. Naapenda sana. See you next time. Mm -hmm.